So really excited for this webinar today. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, my name is Georgie and I've been leading these webinars every two weeks. So we have bi-monthly webinars. Uh, the whole purpose behind these webinar Wednesdays with Open Space is to introduce uh, customers, bring on partners and talk through everything related to the construction industry. So today we're really excited to talk about open space community. I won't say too much because I don't want to steal the thunder from our guests today, but on the line we have Nakia, our community manager, and I will let Nakia introduce Dante because uh, she's prepared an, an entire presentation, um, but Dante is in Blacksburg, Virginia. If anyone heard our previous conversation, I'm in Richmond, Virginia, starting to get a little bit cold. I'm wearing a turtleneck, even though it's slightly hot right now during the middle of the day, <laughs> um, but we'll go ahead and get started. Um, thank you, everyone. Continue to introduce yourself and share where you're from. Julian from the UK. Love all these people that are joining in the evening your time. So really appreciate you being here. Um, without further ado, Nakia will start sharing her screen and we'll begin talking about open space community. And um, another just comment before Nakia gets started. Um, we will be covering questions at the end of today's call, but feel free to type in any questions that you may have. Uh, throughout the presentation in the Q&A box or the chat box, and I will do my best to address those questions um, and, and share them with Nakia and Dante as they come in. But continue to introduce yourself and I'll let Nakia go ahead and get started. Great, thanks Georgie. Um, and thanks everyone for taking the time to join us today um, and learn about the open space community. This is our official launch. So right after this webinar, you'll be able to get in um, and really join the community officially. Um, so thank you, you will be the first ones learning about it. Our agenda for today intros, uh, Dante and I will give our introduction so you know who you, you're talking to um, later. And then we'll give an overview of the community, just giving you a background of where it came from, the big picture, what we're trying to achieve with it. And then I'll go into the platform and actually give you a demo, just so you become more comfortable navigating it once you get on, on there. And then Dante will dive in and give his customer uh, or community member testimonial. So even though today's our official launch, we've actually been running the community for about a month now. Um, it was in private and we had a small group of soft launch members trying it out, testing it out, giving me feedback. So this group of soft launch members really helped me build out the community to what it is today that you'll, you'll end up seeing. So Dante was a key player in that and he will share his experience um, and share some stories of what could be good things to do on there to help you participate and engage with other community members. And finally, we'll close with next steps of what you can do with the community and actually participate once we're done with the webinar. So first intros, I'm Nikia Chrysostomo and I'm the community manager at Open Space. Um, I started about a little over a year ago and I'm pretty much in charge of getting to know you all, getting to know our users, getting to know our industry so that I can set up and develop programs, strategies, um, initiatives to really give you what you need so you can be successful, not just with Open Space, but in general in your careers, in your journeys. Um, before joining Open Space, I was working in the construction industry as well. So I was one of you guys. And um, I worked for both a general contractor and a construction management firm before I decided to transition over to the tech side of construction. Um, and we have Dante. Dante, if you want to introduce yourself. Sure. Yeah, I'm Dante DeFazio. I am a project manager at Virginia Tech um, on school here. And basically my role, I kind of work on any renovations to any of the campus facilities that occur like under three million dollars and uh been just running around i've been uh i guess the main like kind of focal point for today you know getting involved with open space and why am i involved and all that i, I kind of had uh you know uh, questions as to how i can relay the most information from my projects and uh give it to somebody without having to constantly be writing notes down all the time and all that. So I hooked up with open space. I've been kind of using it for a few years before I came to be a project manager at Virginia Tech for another GC. And um, it's been been really great to have it and uh, kind of getting involved with the community has been really exciting too. So just happy to be here and uh, hopefully it can help somebody else out. Thanks, Dante. And you'll hear more from him and his story um, later in the presentation. So first, introducing the open space community. So this is just a screenshot of um, what you'll see when you get on the platform. 
And I'm now open to sharing our URL. This was um, kept private for a while, but you can access it if you just go to community.openspace.ai. Overall, our mission um, for the community, we got started with this through our Pathfinder program. So I started the Pathfinder program probably um, like seven months ago. Um, and it was our pilot program to help get to the open, open space community that it is now. Um, I reached out to some of our top users, called them Pathfinders, and um, I partnered with them just to get to know them, hear from them about what would work and what won't work with the community, you know, what strategies, what um, activities would actually be useful for construction professionals. And so all of everything that we learned through that Pathfinder pilot program, we put into um, building this open space community. So our mission with the community is to provide a space for construction professionals, so all of you, to connect, learn, grow, and innovate. And we have these like, you know, cool theme thematic like path um, mission statements. So walk your path, connect your path, and forge the path. Um, just going back to our Pathfinder pilot. But when it comes down to what that actually means. So for walk your path, uh, we aim to just help you in your career by providing you with resources to learn and grow and giving you those opportunities to really gain recognition. Um, we believe that you as open space users really are the innovators in the industry. And so you know what you're doing. It's just a matter of giving you that stage to be able to grow and showcase that. Next, we have connect your path. And this is one of the biggest asks from our pathfinders ever since we kicked off that pilot program. Um, everyone wanted to you know, talk to others outside of their projects, outside of their companies, um, to hear about how they use open space, what else they do to become innovative, and pretty much share those ideas and build on top of each other's ideas. So um, this space really will be able to help you grow your social and your professional network and share all of those you know, top tips and tricks for open space. And last, forge the path. The idea is, um, you know, Hopefully, once you're all connected to each other um, and you have that space to really grow individually, you can then get connected with us as open space and help us work, all of us work together to really push for innovation in the construction industry. So one way we're really doing that through the community is um, another big ask from the Pathfinder pilot program is the direct access to our product team. Um, you know, because you're all the end users, you're the ones out in the field really knowing what would be best uh, for the product. And so we have this group, and you'll see that later once we go through the demo. Um, we have a group where you can pitch your ideas, product ideas, feature requests um, to our product team, and our product team monitors that, and they pretty much review that to see what we can add to our roadmap. So essentially, by joining the open space community, you have an avenue to help us build the product and help it be better for you. So overall pillars, um, these are our main goals. Once you get on the platform, connect, learn, and innovate. And you'll see once we get there, it links every aspect of the community links back to these missions, um, mission pillars, right? So connect, um, networking, this will lead you to discussion forums where you can actually um, meet people, talk to them, um, get into conversations with them. Learn, we have a bunch of um, knowledge articles and learning resources there that you can access to help you get better with open space and the community. And last, Innovate, this leads to the product ideas group that I was talking about, um, where you can pretty much get in direct conversation with our product team about your ideas to make open space better. So a deep dive, I'll go into the different sections of the community um, that you'll see once you get on there and give a brief explanation of what it's about and what it offers. So first, connect. Um, the graphic here is literally a screenshot of what you'll see when you're on the platform. So in the main menu, you see there's a connect section. And under that is where all our discussion forums are. Um, just to get started, we have three main categories, just to keep it simple. Product and usage, community and events, and is industry chat and for fun. Um, so product and usage, this is where if you have any open space questions at all in terms of how to use it, if you're a new user and you're having trouble, um, or if you're a more advanced user and you just want to go to the next level discussing tips and tricks, use cases, um, helping you use open space more efficiently, this is where you post your questions, post your topics, and get in discussions with others about open space use. Next, we have community and events. And this topic houses, you know, any questions about community navigation, you know, how to participate in the community, as well as events related to open space. So 
Um, anything related to Webinar Wednesdays will be on there if you want to ask questions. Um, Waypoint, our first Open Spaces First user conference that's coming up in November. Um, discussions around that will also be posted in that forum. And last is industry chat and for fun. So it doesn't even need to be open space related. We found that there are some folks that want to just discuss the industry in general, AEC. Um, so if you have discussion topics there, feel free to post it, um, ask questions within this category. Um, and also, like this is actually a topic that Dante posted during soft launch, even if it is open space related, but it's not work related, um, and it's more about like fun discussions, feel free to post it there too. So Dante posted a topic on, um, I think he found like a deer or something in one of his open space captures. So he posted a topic of anyone else out there found any, you know, Easter eggs in their open space captures, share it here. So fun discussions like that, we have a space for it as well. So it's not just all serious. Next, um, we have a category for learn, and this is really where all the learning resources and knowledge based articles are. For now, we have two major um, categories, community support and product support. So community support would help you with guides and tutorials in terms of using the open space community itself. And then product support will be directly using open space as a product. So um, we partnered with our support team to include our top nine to 10 articles on here. But also we have an article where if you really can't get your question answered in the community, you know, our top um, suggestion is use community to get your question answered. So go on there, search through the forums, search through um, the groups and see if your question has already been answered. If not, create your own topic and ask it there. And if that still doesn't answer your question, then go to the support article where we have the open space support team's contact info and you can directly contact them from there. So you have a bunch of resources available to you just through the open space community. Next is we have events. So this is just a full list of events that um, open space is part of. So anytime you wanna know like, where we are and catch us our, at our latest event, you'll see it here. So it'll be a list of all up, upcoming as well as past events. So once you click on each of these events, it'll have the full description. If there's a registration link available, it'll also be there. For past events, if there's a recording available, it'll also be there. And last is groups. So you can join like special interest groups here in the community. Uh, we're starting small for now uh, with just two groups. Obviously, as we grow, we're probably going to start doing like whether it's like regional groups or special interests for like event groups, um, we'll start building it out. But for now, to start simple, we have two groups. One is public, one is private. You'll see on there. Founders is a private group, and this was pretty much the group we used um, for soft launch. So all the soft launch participants have access and um, everyone else um, won't be able to get in there. This is pretty much where we were discussing what we need to improve so that it's ready for today's launch. Product Ideas is the public group that I highly recommend everyone here joins. And this is the group where you can pitch your product ideas. You can see what others have submitted um, and you can vote on others' ideas by liking them um, just to show that you know, the posts that have the most likes are probably the ones that um, the community wants most. And so product team will probably look into that as a priority. Um, but it's a way for you to pitch it, discuss it, um, other community members will be on there as well as our product team. Um, so they can get in direct conversation with you to understand better what you are looking for. Um, just a quick note that just because you post it on there, um, we can't promise that we're gonna deliver on it. You know, We don't know how this will end up being, but if you're all submitting multiple um, ideas, we're not sure how much we can actually take on. But this is more of an avenue for whatever you submit. Um, we pretty much commit to reviewing them and um, prioritizing them, what we can deliver, when in the roadmap, and if we can't deliver it, maybe at least we know that there's interest and you know, sometime in the future it could be delivered. Um, it's just a way for communicate, open communication between you all and our product team. So um, I walked through those different sections. Let me um, actually walk you through the actual platform live. So this is how it looks like. This is open to the public, right? So as you can see, I'm not logged in. And yet I can see all the different aspects. Um, but logging in will actually um, allow you to participate. If you're not logged in or registered, um, you can just view it, but not really participate in any of this. So once you're registered, what you'll see is 
at the very top you can see is the search bar. And this is really what we found most community members, as soon as they log in, they don't even really navigate to other areas. They pretty much go directly to search um, to try to get whatever question they have answered. So um, if you have questions about like 360 cameras, for example, or 360 photos, 360 videos, as you type in, in the search bar, you'll already see the results will pop up any conversations, topics, articles related to whatever your search terms are. So you can easily navigate directly to these resources without really going through all the different categories of the platform. So that's a really quick way um, to get your resources up front. Um, but as you can see, we call out the main pillars here, connect, learn, and innovate. And this pretty much ties back to the main menu. So it's just different ways of accessing the same content. content. So under connect, you have the discussion forums, product and usage, community and events, industry chat, and for fun. You have the knowledge articles under learn. Um, and if you click events, it goes to the list of events, list of events, and then the groups will show the different groups. And we'll go through that in a bit. Um, I just want to scroll down. Um, we have a featured article here that I'll touch on um, after I go through the rest of the homepage. But as you can see, the rest of it after you pass this featured article is pretty much the latest activity going on um, in the platform. So on the left side, you'll see the recently active um, discussion topics Q and A for in the Q and A forums, um, and you can just like actually show more activity if you want to get through more of the history. But you have that. There's a help other section. This is where it doesn't show much right now, but if there's anyone asking a question specifically to get answered, like someone's having trouble using open space and they need an answer, this is where you can find that if someone posts that kind of question and you can directly go to that question and respond to them if you have the answer for them to help them out. If you click categories, it's the same thing, discussion forums, another way to just access those. On the right side, it's a summary of all the upcoming events. And then the leaderboard and statistics. So stats, it's cool. You can see how many members are on here right now, how many topics and replies have we posted. And the leaderboard is pretty much the gamification piece of it, which, is, which has been really fun. So if you click show full leaderboard, you can look at the top you know, most active users for the week or even all time. And so this is this will show top 1,000 users. Right now, we're a very small group, but as more of us join, you'll see like a longer list here. Um, you'll see points, rankings, and badges. So points, you get more points um, the more you participate and engage in the community. So any activity, whether it's giving a like, receiving a like, posting your own um, topic or question or responding to someone's topic, each activity that you do um, on the platform adds up to your overall points and your rank. Badges, um, these are specific um, ways or specific things that I ask from you for you to be able to earn a badge. So the badge that you see right here, this is a founder's badge. So let's go to Don, this is Dante's profile. Um, as you can see, he earned this badge and this is the founder badge. Um, this is for the soft launch users. Um, since they helped me build out the community at the end of our soft launch, they, they got their founder badges. But down the line, once you join, I will add more badges for you to be able to earn. Um, one of those is this featured article. Um, it'll be the team builder badge. So this is a way for once you get, you get into the open space community, if you're really enjoying it, um, you can actually fill out this form to submit referrals. So we can reach out to, you know, if you have coworkers, friends who you think would really enjoy being part of the community, submit their contact info in the form. And if they end up actually becoming a community member, it adds up to your earning to you earning your team builder badge. So after five of your referrals end up being part of the open space community, you actually get this team builder badge. So that's another way for you to earn another badge. And more will come up down the line for sure. So just navigating through here, just to show you the most popular discussion forum, obviously, is the product and usage. Um, just so you can see how active it is, we have all of these um, questions and discussions going on about the open space product, you know, field notes, clear site, um, using it with subs, and then trick tips and tricks right here, um, et cetera. So there's a lot going on there already. Um, feel free to um, register and chime in for those discussions. Under knowledge base, we have the product support and community support. And when you click on that, you'll just see all the different articles that um, you can navigate to. We have events, and this is how it looks like. 
is just a list. Um, for example, for today's webinar Wednesday, we had that listed on there. It'll have the time, date and time, about, and then the registration links on here. Last thing is the groups. So as you can see, founders, it's a private group. Um, I'm not logged in, so I should not be able to access it. So as you see, it says this group is private. You have to request to join. Um, but the product ideas group is public. So this is the one I highly recommend you join. Um, and as you can see, there have already been ideas um, added here. Uh, as an example for this one that Sahil submitted, we had Jess Lamb, our director of product, actually come in and um, contribute to the discussion. So this is just a sneak peek of what you can do on the platform. And one last thing is if you ever wanna create a topic, I won't be able to showcase it right now because I'm not logged in, but if you wanna actually post your own question, post your own conversation or discussion, you can just click on the yellow button up top for a create topic. In the footer, if you ever want, if you're in the community and you ever wanna navigate back to our open space website, all of these links go back to our open space website. So there's easy integration between the two. Okay, so that's the end of our demo. Um, we will now go to Dante um, to have him share his experience. Yeah, thanks, Nikki. Yeah, I, I guess the big thing for me and kind of what I want to express is when I was getting into this and starting to do my own projects and use open space. Like I had nobody <laughs> else to help me out. It was really kind of something I came up with and needed to kind of prove its worth and kind of really go uphill with it. And uh, the thing that I see now that the community provides is that ability to kind of reach out and touch somebody else that's kind of in the same position of like, here's how I'm using it. Here's what's going on. Um, like when I first started using this, I had no one on my project or no one in my company that had touched it at all. So I didn't really have any good points of reference to really use. And I think part of the reason I may have been on the radar for the pathfinders for Nikki is that I was constantly bugging customer support with questions <laughs> on how do you do this? What did I do wrong here? How do I undo what I did wrong? And I think, uh, you know, they probably saw I was like, you know, flailing in the wind. They uh, rescued me. But um, I think now there's this platform where you can go and you may have this problem. It's like, oh, it's already, here's the same problem this person had and the solution already. So, hey, it's one less thing I have to go, you know, talk to somebody about or sometimes I'm kind of over being embarrassed about not knowing stuff anymore. But, uh, you know, may not want to ask a silly question or something like that. But um, that's been the biggest benefit that I could see if I if I had this when I first started. So uh, it's huge to be able to kind of just go to somebody else that knows what you're talking about, say, here's what my problem is. Can you help me? Or uh, vice versa, be like, oh, man, I went through this problem, you know, watch out for this or um, just having a network to be able to go to and say, uh, what can I do here, guys, and uh, have some good feedback. Uh, it's, it's huge. So it's been really helpful. Um, and like the customer support was great for me, but sometimes it's nice to have someone that's in your shoes that kind of is doing the same thing day to day as you are. And you know, and you have a better feeling of what that person is going through and be like, ah, yes, do this like that. Um, but, uh, it, you know, customer support at open space is always good for me. So I'm not complaining about that, but it's, it, it's just a little different being able to kind of go arm in arm with somebody that's in the trenches with you. Um, and then, you know, bouncing ideas on each other, like, here's, here's how I'm going to solve this problem to sound like a good idea. Like, that sounds good, or also this. Um, so uh, it's been able to kind of just open that dialogue up. And um, every project is different. Every situation is different. So just like you install something on a project A, you may install it completely different on project B. It's the same project. Same thing with this. Open space is a tool, how you use it. Um, maybe effective one way, but it could be more effective in another way on the next project. So uh, I'm, I'm learning that as well and kind of going to learn, uh, you know, I'm 
I've I used open space a certain fashion on my previous job. And then now I come over here and I use it in a completely different way. Uh, some of the things that benefited me before kind of have changed and, and benefit me in a different way now, or I have to do something completely different to benefit me. So um, again, I'm learning that as I'm going through that process, I'm learning what works best for me, but it takes a lot of time to go through and kind of reinvent the wheel, sort of say. If I've already done that and I can kind of write some of the manual out for someone else to read and go, oh, okay, I can do it like that instead of having, and it saves so much time um, from being able to have to, you know, go out, hunt, take photos, come back, compare, oh, I should have done it this way. Kind of eliminate some of those steps really, really helps. And that's kind of, kind of going back to the connection part, but asking those questions like, hey, uh, I need to do this. What, what do you think? will work best and um it's been great or not even having to ask questions just checking the conversations just the word search being able to look up exactly what you're looking for and be like ah okay this is how they do it and uh sometimes you know the frequently asked questions it gets uh, a good bit of what you're looking for maybe 80 percent of it but it's like but my situation is slightly different i need just like that 20 percent change and um either you know Sometimes you'll have someone that's already experienced that in this community rather than someone that's just kind of helping support. Or if you pose the question, if no one else has experienced it, someone will have a pretty good solution. And it's somebody that, you know, you, you know, is in the same boat as you. So it's much easier to like, okay, I know that this person they have a specific thing that they did and it feels better to be able to say, okay, I can try that on my job. Um, and then I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Nikki, but you know, you could, Google search, word search, and, and these can still come up. So if you're starting from scratch, like I was at one time, there was like, do nothing about nothing. I mean, I, I was like, let me see what a 360 camera can do. So starting from that to being able to be here and know how to use open space and how much benefit it brings, being able to kind of maybe see that path instead of using, I used like weeks and months of messing around with a 360 camera before I even knew what open space was and trying to figure out how to best capture all that information. If I would have just known about it, I would have been, oh, I would have saved so much time up front and ability. So being able to just kind of have a place to look, search, understand, learn, it's great. And then, uh, you know, innovate. I mean, bouncing ideas off of everyone and uh, understanding what's going on kind of in the industry from another perspective. On people you may not necessarily know, there's people that are on this board that I would probably never talk to because they're in a different state or a different place, and we won't connect any other way than through this. Um, but, uh, you know, like, for example, for me, like innovate, usually what, if, if someone tells me to innovate on my project, it usually means I need you to value engineer that. And that's usually a nice way of saying uh Basically, if we don't already have it, I'm not going to buy it for you. So a lot of things that I've had to do comes from like being able to just make do with what I have. So I know a good example was, you know, trying to take captures in a basement. There's no lights down there. And how am I going to take a picture? I mean, I could take a picture of what's going on there, but it's going to be black. So uh, it doesn't really help much. So how do I best get light in this area? Because we're not putting templates up yet. So I want to track the progress. How am I going to do that? Okay. From this, from this community, I've learned there's a, a light specifically for that that can actually do a good job, but I didn't have that ability. So I had to go piece something together. I put it on the community like, hey, I got two clip lights and I clipped them back to back and I threw it on the pole and started walking. It worked good enough for me. That's as my, that was my innovation, but um, it was uh, the ability to now know I can go just buy this light and make it happen and I don't have to kind of piece stuff together. But, or on the other case, if you don't have the funds to do it, you need to figure something out, maybe somebody has a good idea. Uh, so it's been, it's been nice to be able to kind of just have a place to talk, explore and um, understand. And then also, you know, you hear about other supplemental things that can help. Um, so I know there's been a couple of things that I picked up on like, wow, I've never heard of that before. And uh, just how to, to, to really enhance what you're doing here. And uh, it's just been, it's been, I look back at it, I take a step outside of it and I go, man, 
would this benefit me if I was starting all over again? I'd be like, absolutely, yes. It'd be so nice to have this, to be able to just kind of have something reverberate through there and see what I can get back. So um, that's how I've been uh, using it. It's been really nice uh, and I've uh, been enjoying it so far and kind of interested to see how it kind of goes with everyone joining in and, and, and piling on top. Uh, so uh, that's kind of how I've been uh, it's kind of my, my, my spiel, sorry. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dante. And like a couple points I wanted to touch on that you brought up. So you were hit up to be a Pathfinder because you were using it a lot because I think you were the only one in your company that was using it. But going back to that Pathfinder program, because it was just a starting off, like I was piloting it, we are going to continue with it. I will continue to grow the, the Pathfinders. But um, yeah, before we had the community, I had to limit my Pathfinder outreach to the U.S., um, because we were small um, and it was just me and it would have been hard to manage if I had gone global um, just by myself. I was literally um, hosting this program by emailing our Pathfinders like constantly. And I think they probably got email fatigue at some point because they stopped opening my emails at some point. Um, but yeah, like my only way of communicating with my Pathfinders was through email. And I really wanted to get this community up and running soon because one, it allows me to go global. Now it's on there, you know, like Dante is right. You can Google it, you can get to it. Um, wherever you are, that's why I got excited seeing people from um, Turkey, Finland, Philippines on here because now you can actually be part of my community and I'm not just, um, limited to within the US and I'm not limited to email. So I'm not going to be like spamming with you, with too, spamming you with too many emails now. Um, you can directly contact me through the community um, and really engage with everyone else through the community without the email being kind of the roadblock there. Um, and the one thing I did want to touch on too is, you know, Dante bringing up that you get all these different perspectives from other users on there. Um, that's a big benefit for you all because now you're not having to just take open spaces word for it, right? Everything is like whether, whoever your open space rep is, whether it's customer success associate or your account executive, whoever you know from open space. Um, if you needed a question answered, you had to go to them, wait for their answer, um, or go to our website, try to find the answer yourself. That's all coming from us as open space. Now you can actually hear perspectives and responses from other users, not from open space, right? So you can have a wide variety of perspectives from there. And I think I heard from some um, soft launch members, there have been like a few questions where they posted it in the community and they got answers um, a lot more quickly than they would have if they contact, if they had to email um, someone from open space. Um, just because it's on there, it's kind of like, social media, right? It's like very easy to respond right away um, instead of waiting for like an email response, even within 24 hours. So um, whether or not the time difference is there, at least you get all these different perspectives with your responses and it's not always filtered through open space. So yeah, thanks Dante for sharing your story. Now um, we'll close off with what are the next steps? Um, you can now find the community, uh, as I shared the URL there, but also we have it in, on our website. So if you go to our website in the menu, it'll be under resources in the uh, up top in the main menu and in the footer, um, you'll also find it under resources. So you can quickly um, kind of toggle back and forth between the two, um, our website and our community. Coming soon is access through the Open Space app. That was one of the big requests during soft launch of, hey, I'll be more active if I can get it on my phone instead of having to go to my computer to access it. So we have that in the roadmap. Sometime soon, we will be able to give you access to the community just by going through the Open Space app. Next, once you find the community, which is literally just typing in the URL, um, register. So this is the specific URL for registration, um, community.openspace.ai slash member slash register. Um, and to make it easier, we have single sign-on options. So for those of you who have um, open space login credentials, feel free to use that, um, just clicking that login with open space button to make it a lot easier. Or you can create a whole new account. Um, we just figured single sign-on would be easy because you can use the same login just for your open space account and the open space community account complete whatever registration fields are required there and you're in. And the registration fields are easy. The most that we'll ask of you is what you see here, um, you know, name, password, email address, username. So if you try to do this and you run into problems registering or logging in, please email community at openspace.ai so we can troubleshoot and make sure you get on there. 
once you're on there yeah sorry go ahead Georgie. sorry to cut you off there nikia i just posted the registration link in the chat box as well so if you guys would like to start um you know saving that link bookmark it and register after the call perfect thanks georgie um yeah once you're on there just a few tips to help you get started um update your profile you'll see it in your top right corner of your account um just go through the community, get used to it, and then um, type in a few sentences in your about me and add a picture. Um, you know, this is like a virtual community, so, and we'll be global, so it's obviously hard to connect in person, but to make it feel more like you're connecting to people instead of just like a digital platform, let's put our faces on there just so it feels more friendly. Um, and then just start engaging in discussions. Go through the discussion forum, see what's already been discussed. If you have your own topic you want to bring up, your own question you want to bring up, um, start posting on there. This is really a space for all of you. Um, so yeah, make it like get on there and be active already. Last thing is build your network. There's a way for you, you know, if you find people um, talking about things that you really like and that they have good perspectives, um, feel free to go follow them. When you click on their profile, there's a way to follow members. Um, and that's a way for you to really start building your network within the community. So last slide here is our promo. Um, we have an ongoing promo right now where if you register by Waypoint, so Waypoint is, as I mentioned earlier, is our um, first user conference and it'll be fully virtual. It'll be held on November 2nd. So by the end of Waypoint, so it'll end around 7 p.m. So probably around 6 p.m. I'll go in, check community, and everyone who's a registered community member will be entered into a raffle. And we will announce at the end of Waypoint whoever won that raffle um, and the prize will be an iPad Pro. So whether you register now um, or if you wait a bit, just make sure you register by the end of Waypoint and you'll be entered um, to win this iPad Pro. And I think my, la my last slide is a thank you slide, but before I, um, we, we transition to Q&A, just two last things I wanted to touch on. Um, one, yes, we're launching open, open space community. The platform is there now. You can use it. But this will be an ever-evolving, ever-growing community. So as you're on there, if you feel like some things don't make sense, maybe you don't like the category, the discussion forum categories, or you don't like how some things are um, working within the platform, any kind of suggestions for improvement that you have or comments that you have, feel free to always reach out to me on there. You know, DM me or post it somewhere and tag me. Um, and it, we will constantly be evolving this for it to be a space for you all. Um, yeah, it's really not too much for open space. We really want to be able to accommodate what you need it for. So whatever suggestions you have, I will constantly try to improve the community um, to make it more for you um, as your space. And um, the second thing that I want to touch on, I actually don't remember and I forgot. So we're just not going <laughs> to cover it. If I remember it, I'll bring it up later. So yeah, we can open, open it up to Q&A now. Perfect. Um, and I'll just jump in and say we did have one question come in from Jenna Lee. Uh, really great question and just an example of ways that you can communicate with other members of the community and get tips and tricks um, or ideas based on other people who are you know, using the same device as you or have similar projects. Um, so the question was, one major issue I get was compatibility among the Insta360 camera and OpenSpace app with my device. I found that the iPhones have better compatibility than Androids, but have you tried using the Android device with the OpenSpace app? Um, is Android possible to connect with OpenSpace? And the answer to that is yes, absolutely. Um, Androids and the OpenSpace app are compatible. Um, this is a really great example of questions that you can post in the community. That way other users who are using Androids can talk about recommendations that they have. Um, so if you're comfortable, it'd be great to see that post in the community and we can start a conversation um, People like me, our product team, and Nakia will also be jumping in and responding. Uh, but keep those questions coming. We've got about 20 more minutes left, so um, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Any other any other questions? I do see another question that came up too. Oh, you were saying thank you, of course. <laughs> And Dante, I loved how you mentioned um, how you mentioned that you, you don't get embarrassed anymore by questions, and as you shouldn't, you know. But I totally understand. It's more comfortable being, you know, asking questions with a community that's also using Open Space for the first time. Of course, you know, we work at Open Space, so we know everything about the software. But um, 
it can be a little daunting coming in from a new customer. Um, you're always always able to reach out to support, but I think it's nice to have the, have this community with other users too that feel the same way. Uh, we did have a question from Omer. Is it possible to connect Revit to OpenSpace? Great question. So we are we have a partnership with Autodesk Construction Cloud. So through Autodesk Construction Cloud, we will put your Revit files, um, any type of model that you you have, into the settings of OpenSpace. Um, so while we, we're not connecting Revit to OpenSpace, um, we can take your Revit file, add it into the settings of your project, and then you'll be able to see that side-by-side -side BIM viewer. In fact, uh, our next webinar, um, two weeks from today, will actually be on the BIM viewer. We're going to be bringing on a customer, Brassfield and Corey. So you'll be able to see more about that event in OpenSpace community. So please register and join, and that way you can start you know, listening in on other Perfect. Some great questions coming in. I also just want to call out, I'm just looking at the attendees list now. We have a few soft launch members um, joining today. So I just wanted to thank you um, for supporting Dante and I today as we welcome the other um, future community members. I think we have like Sahil, Ethan, I see you there. So yeah, welcome all, thank you. Ooh, we got a really great question. Nakia, do you want to read that one? Yeah, this one's for Dante. Um, what is Dante's favorite story from being an open space user so far? Any rework prevented or claims avoided? Ooh, uh, that's a great question. Um, I don't think I have any rework prevented or claims avoided, to be honest with you. So I'm sorry, I don't have any juicy details. I guess mine are more on the front end where uh, it's kind of a little stuff that saves time as more of my resource that I've been able to do. My first project I was using open space on, it was a high rise building and it was going to be uh, 60 plus stories. And I saw the path you were going down with um, uh, the different we had different project engineers and different facets of the, the project. So we had one for like a structural, one for mechanical, one for plumbing that would all check kind of a pre-pour layouts. So each person would go up and check their stuff individually. So we had, you know, four or five people going to review what was out in the field, um, you know, a couple times a week. And so when you're out in the field, you know, you can't be at the computer and when your computer can't be on the field. So um, we started looking at that possibility of being able to have one person do the walk, get everything in the camera, and then people can do their walks virtually. So you're not having to go and do that every day or every other day or whatever it was. So it wasn't a big deal at first because it was so accessible because we were on the ground floor or the first floor and it's not a big deal to walk over there and get up. Once you start hitting the higher floors, you got to take the lift and go up. And I was like, imagine what it's going to be like when you're hitting floor 50 and uh, those kinds of things. So I think it started, it also helped with the, the development of using it on a regular basis. So I think the, the big story for me, if, if it's, I don't know if it's a great one, but uh, was that being able to just kind of you know say, hey, like look how much time we're saving by not having to have every single person go out to the job site. We do have to go out to the job site. You got to check what's going on. But um, if we can eliminate some of these trips, I can use that time for something else. So I can be effective somewhere else. I think that has been the big thing for me in open space. I think the, the risk management and all that stuff, I kind of have it as like the ace up my sleep. Kind of like I got photos of everything I could think of on here and more probably because when I do a walk, I only usually take photos of stuff that I'm kind of keyed up to take. But when I walk with 360 camera, it's taking shots for me that I don't even know I need. So I'm kind of like, I don't even really think about that way. I'm usually thinking about it in the regard of how can I benefit, how can I benefit from having all this information? And usually it's for me, it's a, it's a time resource savings that I'm trying to go or like, Hey, I don't have to take 10 people up there to go look at one thing. 
I can have everyone look at this virtually right here, saves everyone an hour and a half of having to come down, we all go up, go do this. That's, that's been my biggest uh, benefit, I think, is my time and others' time. So that, that's my story. And one thing I wanted to share about Dante is um, just not a specific story, but big picture for his experience with open space. He actually, at his previous company, was like the champion. He, as he said, as he shared earlier, he discovered open space, right? And he was the one to kind of push it, um, try to get, convince his company to um, take it on, use it because of all the benefits. And then when he moved over to now Virginia Tech, um, he's using open space. He was one of the first users uh, in open space basic, um, the free version. Uh, so, you know, because I, I think his projects there, I, correct me if I'm wrong, Dante, because they are like just renovations and stuff, they're smaller. And so the open space basic is able to just do what you want it to do. And so I think he's a really good uh, resource in terms of talking about different use cases. He's been very innovative with using open space for whatever um, he needs it for, for that specific project for that specific time. And he has a really good um, topic, actually, conversation topic in the community open right now, where he um, kind of proposed the conversation around how do you spread the implementation of a technology within your company? How do you convince others within your team um, to take on new technology? And so um, he's really good at kind of looking at that, looking at being the champion and how you can convince others, right, within your team to get on board with this new technology. And kind of add to that, you know, usually everything comes down to time or money. I mean, usually you, know, you can you can always say quality. You could say that quality, but it's hard sometimes to judge how much quality I got on this as opposed to quality on that one. But it's usually in reference to time or money. And if you can prove one of those two things to someone, um, then people's ears start perking up a little bit more. But so hard to say, I've saved so much time on this if you've never used it before. Um, so really, I think there's a couple of things in community that actually I address that. I'm like, how do you tell someone what you're gonna save if you don't even know yet? And so I think, uh, I think Cameron actually put something on there about how you know they did a, just a case study. Like, here's what we typically did. Here's what we we did after using open space, here's how much time we saved. Boom, what, what is that worth to your company to save X amount of dollars? Well, put a price tag on an hourly rate and here it is, you know? So it um, starts making more sense. And then on top of it, it's like, when a claim does come up, okay, here's all my documentation. I can find it very easily. And uh, you can definitely say, well, that saved us from this X amount of dollars that we had to deal with. So, um, I always kind of, like I said, I always kind of have that in the back of my head. Like, I don't, but before it was like, I took 8 million photos and I put it in a trunk somewhere and hopefully I never get called out on anything because I don't want to have to go sort through that. So now I'm like, I don't have to worry about it. I just take, just do my walks, leave it over there. And how can I use this to my benefit like today, right now? It's usually saving time so I can do something else. And Dante, I'll piggyback on that. Um, time is money. Obviously, um, one thing that you can also use us, you know, reach out to your, your customer support team, reach out to your customer success team, because we can also go in the back end and, and show you, if you're curious, how many minutes you've spent monthly on open space. Um, if you really want to go deep into the trenches and compare um, against how, how long it would take you to actually travel to the site or bring a team on site or, um, you know, just let us know and post in the community things that you'd be interested in seeing and, and we're happy to help. Yeah, I was gonna um, say that same point. So in that discussion thread, when Dante brought up the case study, he connected with me on that to let it happen. So we did. It was like a case by case basis and kind of like what Georgie said, if you want something to happen, reach out, we'll make it happen or we'll try to partner with you to make it happen. But um, in that thread, I responded, you know, if there's enough ask from people, it's like, if you need specific things to help you use open space or convince team, your team to use open space, um, maybe if you, yeah, if you share it in the community, we can start creating like standard procedures, standard materials that you all can just use without even asking anymore, right? So um, that's one thing that we started hearing a lot more requests for. Um, 
give us resources to help us um, convince others, you know, other stakeholders, other people on our team that open space is good. So as an example, if we get enough requests for that, we can actually set up like probably a module under the learn section of community where you can just download resources, right, and help you pitch um, open space to your team. So something like that, you know, ideas like that post it in the community and we'll make sure we get on it and explore it uh, to, to provide for you. Getting some really good uh, just questions and comments. Uh, first, Omer, Omer was talking talking about Bentley Synchro 4D, uh, which looks like it's a scheduling and simulation tool. Um, this is a perfect perfect post that you could you could create in the open space community and see what other customers are using this because we want to know what would be valuable. Um, you know, we can't make any promises, but we we're we're trying to listen to you, our customers, because you're the most important people to get feedback from. Um, so we don't currently have an integration with Bentley Synchro, um, but you will be able to manually take, you know, your 3D model and put that in open space, but please do provide that feedback in the open space community. Um, and then same with, with Joshua. Uh, Joshua just made a comment and said some members of our industry are making moves away from paper 2D drawings entirely and toward communicating construction information using controlled 3D models instead. Assuming this continues, is there any possibility that open space may evolve to accommodate 3D walkthroughs with capture information tagged to locations in a 3D model? Um, so yes, we're, we're aware of that. We appreciate you bringing that up and, and that is what we're working towards. Um, please, not to you know, say the same comment that I just shared with, with Omer, but please comment and, and create that post in the community so we can start having a conversation. Our product team, you know, our CEO, everyone's looking at this and we wanna be um, prioritizing these requests. Yeah, and I see this comment here that I really like. Tech support has been awesome, but this raises the level higher because in community, I think there's someone 24 seven to answer and help in issues. Um, and that's a very good point. Um, I am currently the like top moderator for the community, like making sure, um, you know, whether you answer each other's questions or someone from our team like jumps in there. But as an example, like this 24 seven point, the more people we get on the community around the world, right? Um, then the time zones don't even matter. Even if I'm not on there, like moderating, making sure questions are answered. If you have enough folks within your time zone on there also, you'll be able to get those answers more quickly and more efficiently. So as you join the community, uh, think of any coworkers, people within, your circle in the industry that would also be good contributors to the community. And please make sure to whether invite them personally or if you wanna submit them through my referral form so that it helps you get that team builder badge, please do so. We really want your help to grow this community with the right people um, to contribute. We've still got time until the top of the hour. Um, Feel free to continue to post questions, comments. Uh, see that we just got one. Um, hello from the UK. Question: Will Open Space Capture allow for taking measurements? Um, that's actually very a great timely question because we're about to release our lidar uh, lidar measurements tool. Um, so that will be live very soon. Um, stay tuned for that. The community is another place where you can go for updates on our product and how we're improving and continuing to push out. Um, you know, new features and new capabilities. Thanks, Christoph. There's construction going on in my neighborhood and <laughs> it's always funny being on calls with construction users because they're like, oh, I was going to ask you, it sounded like there were a couple of raccoons <laughs> and a trash can in the background, I, wherever you were. I don't know what was going on. I apologize. I need to keep myself on mute. It wasn't that bad. It was. <laughs> Good. Yeah, as people trickle off, just thank you so much, Nakia and Dante and everyone that's joined. Um, really appreciate your time. We know everyone's busy, but we're really excited about this.
Yeah, thanks all for joining. Um, if you had to hop off, feel free, but you can connect with Georgie, Dante, and I um, through the Open Space community. So if anything else pops up there, register, join us, um, and feel free to message us there. Oh, so you'll just posted something. Team, please join Open Space community to learn and communicate with peers across the globe. I'm sure you'd be surprised the topics we have been talking about already. So he's been one of our um, soft launch members. And I'm just so impressed. Uh, we have people from Turkey, Finland, UK, yeah. Egypt, Chicago, the Philippines that are here right now. Thank you all and welcome. Once you get on there, welcome to the community and we look forward to engaging with you. Dante, it would be great to, to pull you in on a webinar one day. Um, I'll be reaching out to you to see if you have time, uh, maybe in November or December. Okay, yeah, let me know. Hopefully I can be acceptable. <laughs> of course you will be. <laughs> okay, hopefully I was uh, helpful today. You were. It's always funny and, and slightly awkward the last like few minutes um, whenever we're finished with a webinar, just staying on for any any questions. But we're here if anyone has any other questions. And our email address, so my email address and Nakia's, it's just our names at openspace.ai. And then support is support at openspace.ai. And Dante, you're of course welcome to share your email address, but I'm not going to be publicly stating that. <laughs> I don't like anybody, don't talk to me. <laughs> Get me on community only. Yeah. Yeah, clearly you do not like talking to anybody. <laughs> I, I was nervous, I'll be honest. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about that I was gonna say too is that like the, the you know, generically speaking with open space on the like, uh, when I first came into construction, you know, I had this the role of the gopher, you know, the gopher this, go for that. Mm -hmm. So I always kind of think of that now when I'm like using the camera. If I can get somebody to go for the camera, come back, how much more information I get from that than any trip that I ever took for somebody else and what I was able to give back to them. You know, what did it look like up there? What uh was the drywall there? What did it like? about like 20 percent maybe you know now you get a photo of like everything in there how how much better that is how much better life is to be able to just have someone go for a walk you can get a gopher go come back and you got all this information uh so those are one i was trying to figure out how to incorporate that in there but didn't so i figured i'll just add it now since we're kind of hanging around awkwardly so no that's a really good point i feel like you know a lot of questions can come up uh, but then showing them the actual project that way they can answer their own questions is is always yeah. helpful. Um, yeah. We had a couple other great questions. Uh, Omer, I hope I'm so last question, what is the biggest project uh, using what is the big, biggest project that um, is on open space? So that's something we're also working on showcasing our really cool projects. Uh, we currently uh, we're going to be sharing that in the community. So stay tuned for that. Um, but right now we're 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 trying to figure out, you know, what projects we have approval from. So I can't uh, publicly state that yet, but good to know what you're interested in. So thank you for sharing that. Um, and then Christoph just asked, I noticed issues with migrating and capture pictures from one 2D plan to the other. Um, there's no issue with migrating movies, but that's a really good point. Um, migrating 360 degree photos um, is is actually um, more of a process than, than it is with videos. Um, it is possible, um, but that's, you know, that's why the, we always try to push the value of taking the 360 degree video rather than the photo, because the video is really giving you the, you know, half, half a picture every second, um, instead of having to take the more manual photos. But Christoph, if there are any, um, you know, photos that are still, that you're having trouble moving to other, other plans, please let us know, reach out to support. Um, and we'll look at that, look at that issue and try to get it resolved for you. I 
know we have one minute left. I just want to add on to Omer's um, question, uh, Georgie's response. I don't have it yet, so I didn't show it, but definitely soon. Um, it's in the roadmap. We will actually add like a community spotlight section on the community where we will post um, stories of specific projects, specific people, um, give them recognition. So be on the lookout for that. If you join community, you'll be able to see lots of good examples on there of specific stories. I also wanted to address Sahil. He said to uh, try Boston Dynamic Spot for a gopher person. I just wanted to let him know that I got an official uh, private dance from Spot the other week at Virginia Tech. He was out here doing the running man and other kind of stuff. So I'm a well aware of Spot. Wow. I want to hear more about that. Um... So it looks like we are at time. Um, really appreciate you, you all for joining and thank you so much, Dante and Nakia. Thanks, Georgie. Happy to help. Thank you. See you all in the community.